What's up y'all, happy summer. My name is Shade, and I'm here to discuss the Capricorn full moon that we have happening this week, which will be opposing the sun sign in Cancer. Now, full moon is usually when the sun and the moon are in opposition to opposite signs. In this case, it's Cancer. The sun is in Cancer, the moon is gonna be in Capricorn. And it's when we've reached a culmination of energy. So the full moon is really gonna highlight what are some things in our life that needs to be shifted or what is a culmination? Where, where have we been working on a project and we've reached that climax, that peak to fully see the fruits of our labor and just the ins and outs of what we have been doing? So this season, Cancer season, it starts off summer. Summer is the season to slow down. Cancer came in with that cardinal push of let's take some time to enjoy our time and enjoy the people that we love, nourish ourselves by doing the things that feel good. Cancer being ruled by the moon is really big on what feels good intuitively and nourishing others as well as nourishing ourselves through what feels right. Enjoying time at the beach, around water, in nature, and just enjoying summer. That is just Cancer and Leo energy, enjoying summer. Capricorn now comes in and says, look, we can enjoy the summer, we can have fun, but there has to be boundaries around some of the things that we're doing. We need a little bit of discipline still because it's so easy in the summer for the days to all kind of blend in and we're just one big blob of pleasure. But Capricorn is like, look, we can have the pleasure, but we need the work, right? And this full moon energy can also be if you were working on a creative project like myself, I have been working on a creative project and it has finally reached its peak and its culmination and I am able to fully see, wow, this is the step-by-step -step tangible acts that I have taken and this is the manifestation of those tangible acts. So Capricorn energy can work in both ways. What are we building towards and what have we built that we can now stand firm on? Capricorn rules stability, foundation, structure. So maybe even implementing a morning routine to help you feel that you have some summer stability and things aren't just kind of flowing and blending into one another. And the reason that this Capricorn full moon is super relevant and important is because we're getting ready to move into Leo season, which is gonna give us that confidence and that drive to push ideas forward. So whatever creative ideas that have developed during this Cancer season, use the full moon in Capricorn to fully develop some habits, some structure, some routine, so that you can start to implement some things when we get that fire energy and really once we get into Virgo season, see the earth energy, the manifestation of our right. We're getting into fall. I've got my ideas. I've got my contacts. I've got things in order. Now I can come into fall with a little bit more stability. So that's all Capricorn is bringing. Nothing to fear too much, but having a little bit of boundaries, some discipline, some structure, and still enjoying our time in the sun. So Hope y'all are having a great summer. I'll be back for the Leo new moon energy, Aquarius full moon energy as well as we shift into Leo season. All right, y'all, peace.